Welcome to Crook and Kipe Extra Innings. You can follow me at Rob Iman at twitter.com. Today the Giants got swept by the Reds 4 to nothing. At least the pitching was much better today. Johnny Cueto only allowed four earned runs in eight innings pitched. And Cueto did a good job sparing, the, excuse me, seven innings pitched. And Cueto did a good job sparing the bullpen who had been worked to death in the last two games. But he did allow two home runs, one to Shevler and one to Cozart. And Scott Feldman was even better at the mound, looking like an ace today, allowing only four hits and did not allow a single earned run. And it wouldn't be surprising to see if Brandon Mel Belt might get a day off tomorrow. But I think it's time to – they did call up an outfielder yesterday, and I did not like – I kind of questioned them call, calling up Justin Rugiano. He's another journeyman outfield. That's probably going to hit low 200s. I don't know. It's I don't think he's the answer in the outfield either. You know, they, just, they need to find a better solution in the outfield. Connor Gillespie did not play well today in his spot start at third base. Arroyo did well at short today, was one for three. Gorkis Hernandez is getting closer to the Mendoza line after going one for three today. His batting average is now up to 197. But I think it's time to I, – I really think maybe it's time to start pulling the plug on the experiment with a lot of these journeymen in the outfield and consider going to more of a youth movement in the outfield. I think there's two or three players that could come – get called up and come help out in the outfield. You've got – one option could be Austin Slater, who's hitting the ball well in Sacramento. Another guy would be activating Mac Williamson off the disabled list. I think it's time to – plug in Williamson in, a, in the outfield and place it with some house money. And another possibility is Ryder Jones. He's, they've been trying him out in the outfield at, in Sacramento, and also he could give Brandon Belt an occasional day off with him struggling. He, they could use Ryder Jones as a possible platoon partner for Brandon Belt. But the next series is a, they will play the New York Mets next. And at least the Mets are a team that's going through some of its own issues right now. Especially after Matt Harvey was suspended yesterday for three games for violating team rules. And you might see Matt Harvey get traded before the deadline. And his asking price, I think, just plummeted today after what he did with, for, the, for the Mets. But at this point, what do you do to fix some of the outfield issues? It's I'm tired of using the journeyman. It's not working. I think it's time to go with youth. Another thing they need to do is maybe consider calling up somebody else to do long relief. I think it's time to maybe call up Yoan Gregorio from Sacramento. He's pitched pretty well as a starter, per se, in Sacramento. But he's not a guy who's probably going to be a starter in the majors. He's probably be more, more destined to be in the bullpen as a swing man. So it's time to maybe maybe give uh, Yoan Gregorio a cup of coffee or two in the minor, in the majors and see if he can fill that Yosmero Petit role until Albert Suarez can come back or Justin or excuse me or. If, until Madison Bumgarner is activated. There's just this is maybe maybe a rebuild time. It's retool, rebuild. It's 
there could be some growing pains this year. Maybe it's time to focus more on player development. All right, let's go around the league with other scores for today's today's actions. The Marlins beat the Mets seven to nothing. Your winning pitcher was Jose Urena. Your losing pitcher was Adam Wilk. And Wilk did not even get out of the fourth inning today, allowing five, five earned runs, six allowed, in three and two-thirds innings pitched. And, man, could New York has unraveled this year. It wouldn't be surprised to see maybe Terry Collins get put back on the hot seat very soon if things really start going south for the Mets. And then... For Miami, Derek Dietrich was three for four. The Blue Jays beat the Rays two to one. Your winning pitcher was Ryan Tapera. Your losing pitcher was Alex Cobb. And Kelvin Kevin Pillar had another good game for the Blue Jays going to three. Orioles beat the White Sox 4 0. Your winning pitcher was Chris Tillman. Jose Quintana was your loser. Joey Rickard was 3 for 5. Trey Mancini went 3 for 4 for the o Orioles today. And Francisco Pena went 2 for 3 for the Orioles today. The Cardinals beat the Braves 6-4. to four. Your winning pitcher was Sam Tuivaliela. And your losing pitcher was Josh Colmenter. And Tommy Pham went 4-5 for five today for the, for the Cardinals with two home runs. The Brewers beat the Pirates 6-2. to two. Your winning pitcher was Zach Davies. Your losing pitcher was Tyler Glass now. And Gregory Polanco went 2-2. Two for two. And Eric Thames went 3-4. for four. And the New England Patriots beat the Minnesota Vikings today, 17-6. to Your winning pitcher was Chris Sales. Your losing pitcher was Irvin Santana, who got, who got clobbered today. Mookie Betts went three for six. Oh, and Santana allowed six earned runs and six innings pitched. It was Matt Belisle who allowed six earned runs and one-third innings pitched. That usually could get you a trip back to the minors doing that. And the Indians beat the Royals one to nothing. Your winning pitcher was Mike Clevenger. Your losing pitcher was Danny Duffy. And Carlos Santana had a good game with going three for four for the Indians today. And the Phillies beat the the Nationals six to five. Your winning pitcher was Hector Neris. Your losing pitcher was Blake Trainin. And Jason Worth had a four for five game for the Nationals. And 
Matt Grace allowed two earned runs. And Jeremy Hellickson did not make it out of the fifth inning today, allowing three earned runs and four and two thirds innings pitch, but was having a 90, his pitch count was already at 100 by then. Jake Thompson also allowed two more earned runs. The Astros beat the Angels 5-3. to three. Your winning pitcher was Matt Fires. Your losing pitcher was Matt Shoemaker. And in games in progress right now, the Rockies are beating the Diamondbacks top of the ninth inning 5-2. to two. In the bottom of the seventh inning, the Tigers are beating the A's six to five. Bottom of the eighth inning in Seattle, the Rangers are tied with the Mariners three at three apiece. And down on the farm today. And in the bottom of the ninth inning, the River Cats are losing to the Reno Aces, 6-5. to five. And in today's game, Ryder Jones went 2-3 for three today to get his batting average over 300. And Tim Federowitz was 2-3 for three today. And Johan Gregorio gave another, another solid st start for the River Cats, going six innings allowed one earned run, but the walks are what's holding him back in the minors right now. He's, he was four walks is not a good, normally not a good day. But I think he could be maybe a good a good swing man out of the bullpen if the Giants maybe go with another route in the bullpen. And in Stanley Cup action today, the Predators eliminated the Blues. Eight to one. And in the NBA, the Cavaliers swept the Raptors 109 to 102. And the Celtics are leading the Wizards 34 to 25. You do my other crook and kite, they might be giants tomorrow since I'm going to be heading back to Fresno tonight. And this week's topic will be about how much longer will Bruce Bochy be manager for the Giants and possibly retirement in two years. And now the probables for. And now your probables for tomorrow for the series against the Mets. And your problems probables for tomorrow's game at at Citibank City Field. The struggling Matt Moore will go up against Jacob Degrom in Game One of the series. 
game two will be Jeff Samarja against Zach, former giant Zach Wheeler in game two of the series. And game three of the series will be And this will be a 10 o'clock game on on Wednesday afternoon, so there'll be no show Wednesday. Matt Kane against Rafael Montero, who will be called up to fill in for Matt Harvey's spot while on suspension. And we'll see what kind of trade they can make for Matt Harvey now that he's probably on his way out in New York. Thanks for tuning in today. You can follow me at Rob. I'm in at twitter.com. Back tomorrow with two shows. Thanks and have a good day.